Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and welcome to a rather different unboxing video. Normally I unbox figures and such, or you see me playing games, but I wanted to show you that I have just bought myself a Xbox One X, or the acronym Xbox for short. It's the Xbox Series One X. Um, this was purchased from Game. It was a deal. It was 450 British pounds in the UK. The deal's in Scotland. I don't know if it's everywhere in the UK. Uh, came with this little thing up here, well, player one case, and of course came with a collector's edition of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I uh, really enjoyed the Ori games. So uh, there were six different games that you could come with, I think, and I chose Ori. I thought it was the best one of the ones that were available. Other ones included things like um, NBA 2K22, which never really been a fan of the NBA series, um, and of course... It wouldn't matter if it was WWE 2K22 because I already won that. So um, I'd say to go with Ori, even though I've already got both uh, Will O' Wisp and Blind Forest on Game Pass. But we're going to be opening this up. We're not going to be turning it on. We're just going to be looking at everything that's inside. Um, the Claire's Edition Ori, um, this is either going to be a separate video or I might even just keep it sealed. I haven't entirely decided. It's really nice looking though. Um, so there we can see the outside of the packaging and also it is pretty huge, pretty thick. I assume there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet because as I said I've already got Ori and the Will of the Wisps on my, um, the original Xbone, but, or the Xbox One, <laughs> also known as the Xbone, um, but I wanted to get the new update, um, New up to date hardware just to see exactly what it's like, and thought it would be good for maybe showing off some games on stream later on. So, uh, first thing first, this is a little freebie that came with it. As you can see, there is from game, um, it is the Xbox Series X slash S and Xbox One controller carrier case. So, presumably, this is if you are going to a friend's place or whatever and you want to take your controller with you, then you can, especially if you've got an Elite controller. I don't have an Elite controller yet, but I am thinking about buying one, um, and we'll let you know how that goes at some point in the future. So it does have a little thing here, you know, it's obviously the shape of an Xbox pad, so you can keep your thing in there. It also has this little pouch that you can keep additional goodies in there as well, if you want to. It says player one in the front of it. It's pretty sturdy, um, it's pretty... You know, you know, it's it's going to keep it nice and protected. Come with this little handle as well. It's pretty cool. So now let's get into the real meat of it, which is going to be the Xbox Series One X itself. Yeah, as you can see, the camera's at a bit of a different angle because getting this all in shot is not easy. Um, so here is the top of it. You can always see the front. It is um, 4K, 120 frames per second, 1 terabyte, and SSD. I'm not entirely sure what SSD stands for. Um, SD used to stand for standard definition, but surely that isn't what that stands for. Um, you can get SD cards, but I assume it's not that either. I'm not entirely sure. Um, not really uh, an expert on these little things. I know that is 1 terabyte, obviously. Um, maybe it's to do with the storage, standard storage device, <laughs> space, I don't know. Uh, the back of it says uh, power your dreams etc. So let's just shove this onto its front, it is pretty heavy by the way. Um, so let's read the little blurb here, uh, you may not be able to see it but I'll read it out for you. It says the fastest most powerful Xbox ever. And it says that in various different languages. Then across here it says, Redefine speed with the Xbox Velocity architecture. It says that in multiple different languages as well. Play thousands of games across four generations of Xbox. Ooh, neat. And the Xbox Game Pass here. Um, it says, Unlimited access to 100 plus high quality games. Uh, membership sold separately. It just says that in various different languages there. And this is uh, Forza Horizon, it mentions here. And that is what is going on here. Uh, at the bottom of this, this is just an attention logo, um, which isn't even in English, just its attention. Uh, there you see the little barcode down there. And 
That's a lot of text and information that uh, I don't really feel like looking at. But if we go over to the other side, oh my god, again, your fingers underneath here is such a problem because it is such a huge and heavy beast. Here we go. Okay, so this might be where some of our more information comes to. So, uh, this is 4K 120 frames per second, uh, 4K gaming at up to 120 FPS. It's got the little asterisk there, as in, like, might not go all the way up. Ah, oh, okay, so 1TB SSD stands for 1 terabyte solid state drive, so that's what the SSD stood for. Uh, it says up here features in different languages 8K HDR up to 8K high dynamic range, uh, variable refresh rate, 4K Blu ray player, and Xbox Velocity architecture. So, very cool. Um, it includes the Xbox Series X console, a uh, wireless controller, ultra high speed HDMI, and wireless network capability. And that's it. So, there we are. Uh, this actually says uh, 2021 Microsoft on it, which is interesting. Um, hmm. Because uh, the Xbox Series X came out just bit before that, so um, I don't know if this is a newer model or what. Uh, someone can let me know in the comments below. So, how do we go about opening this? There is cell tape here and here, so um, I think we're going to put you onto your side, like so. I'm going to just cut across here and see where that takes us. And try not to damage the box and then the very nice, beautiful Xbox Series 1 X box, or the Xbox box, as I suppose would be another name for it. Um, so this doesn't go out, so... Uh, Okay, there is more cell tape here. So presumably this part at the bottom uh, comes out, so... Across here, like so. Take care of that. Um, yeah, well let's just cut this part here as well, just... ahead of time, because I feel like it's going to be necessary. Like so. Yeah, very good. Okay. Um, so now, what do we do? I've gone this far. Um, so this part appears to come apart, this part here, part here. I'll try looking up. Hmm. This is the mystery that you must solve if you want to get into your Xbox. <laughs> Rather hilarious. Um, ah, right, okay. Ah, so it opens this way. Okay, here we go. Right, so. Oh, it looks snazzy. Um, so, what do we have here? Uh, we have additional support for your wireless joypad. Uh, getting started, etc. Okay, instructions. Instructions not in English. Other side? Ah, yes, okay. Download or go to the Xbox app, tip, uh, tap set up a console, uh, search for setup, enter the code shown on your TV. Mm -hmm. Follow the steps in the Xbox app to finish setting up your console. Mm, okay, so do you have to do it via your phone? Possibly. Unsure. We'll find out in just a moment. Um, we have a large box, so let's see what is in that. Try not to damage the box, thank you. Um, so we have probably the 4K Ultra HD wire. Uh, this will be the plug. That all makes sense so far. Joypad! Yeah! Okay, let's see what the joypad looks like. Let's see what it feels like as well. Mm. As many of you know, um, I like my fighting games, like Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, all that kind of stuff. Played a few of them on the channel. So, um, a good controller is very, very nice for me. And there it is. It is the basic controller, it's not the Elite controller, so... Buttons are nice and fast and responsive. Sticks are very good. Requires a little bit of effort to put in the triggers. Not too much effort, but it's the kind of thing that if you were trying to do something quickly, 
you know, like um, if you were going for like down forward, down forward, hard kick, then it would just require a little bit more tap, tap, tap here than it would uh, with a regular console. Um, so yeah, looks pretty cool. It, it looks nice, feels nice. It's got these little grip parts here. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. Um, try and bring it a little bit closer to the camera. But um, it does have a feel of a grip like here, um, which is very nice. You know, it means that your hands aren't, you know, just against uh, plastic. Um, it's quite light as well, which is very good. Yep, I could see me using this. Quite fine, quite nice. Very cool and groovy. Uh, what else has come with? Comes with batteries. Batteries are included. That was a, a joke from ancient times, of which things would normally say batteries not included. Um, this one does. Um, I don't really like wired consoles. Well, wired consoles? I don't really like uh, wireless controllers that much. I prefer wired ones. Um, just because you've got a little bit faster connectivity with the actual um, console itself. Uh, not many people can really tell the difference. Uh, I can kind of notice it. There's warranty, so that can stay over there. I don't think there's anything else in here. Um, we have a little bottom compartment that opens up. Let's just check, see if there's any goodies in here. Um, nope, that looks just to be cardboard. Although there's this entire thing in here. Uh, what the hell's the point of that? Like, it's not needed on either side. Why? Why? What's that doing in there? <laughs> Hidden extra additional crap. That is my explanation for it. And this is refusing to close back over. Oh my god. That's it. It is opened. It is like Pandora's box. It cannot be closed ever again. Just have to live with it. You have to deal with it. I refuse. Oh my god. This is atrocious. There we go. Okay. Now we're done. Right. Okay. Everything's good, folks. We, we got there. We got there. So, okay, so that is everything. This is in the cool box, and oh my god, even this part is refusing to close. There we go. Okay, so, box, part, done. Warranty, instructions, joypad. Uh, one thing I have not seen is I have not seen the wire for the joypad, which makes me think that it might not come with one, um, which is a little bit disappointing because I don't want to go having to rely on wires. Um, I'm giving it a good shake around and there doesn't seem to be any additional wires in there. It sucks! Damn it! <laughs> I hate when they don't give me a wire. I suppose you can just use any kind of phone cable, so I guess that's fair. But, um... Uh, I do prefer um, wire controllers to wireless ones, so... Oh, okay, so these parts come off. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of groovy. Keeps it nice and protected. Uh, and this, presumably, is the console itself. Oh my god, it is a heavy beast. Um, I didn't realise how heavy the Xbox One was. I thought it was just going to be, you know, the same kind as... Oh, okay, maybe it's... It's not quite as heavy as what I thought. It was uh, just kind of stuck in here. Um, this bit at the bottom down here, I don't know if you can see it. Well, there goes that. Um, this part here doesn't move, so I'll try and lift that, and it wasn't working. And oh my god, we're causing some kind of commotion here. Uh, just let me pause the video for just a second while I fix everything. And we are back, folks. Um, that was more of an ordeal than what I expected it to be. So, um, yes, now we come to the actual unboxing of the actual console itself, which is very, very cool. It's got little QR codes down there, don't know what that's about. But um, let's remove this part here and we get into the actual packaging itself. Oh, I'm beginning to see what I think is the top of it. It's very, very exciting. Oh, it's been some time since I have had a brand new console and here it is. Oh my goodness. And it's full of static electricity, and there is the beast itself. Oh my goodness, look at that. What a wonderful, wonderful creature. 
so this is obviously the power button up here. Uh, this is where the discs go into the disc tray. Um, not entirely sure what this is. I don't know where that button's about. Uh, presumably that is where you can put your wired controllers. Uh, let's turn it around to the back. This is where it's got all the interesting parts here. Um, we have two additional um, USB ports, or what would be the call of a USB port. There's the HDMI out there as part of the power thing goes. Very interestingly, it doesn't have a power pack. Um, it just goes directly into the plug from here straight in. Um, whereas normally consoles like you know the Xbox and such um, generally do have some kind of big power plug, a big huge thing in the middle, but uh, this one doesn't. It has a storage expander back here as well. Um, I assume these parts here are probably for the fans. Um, wow, this is uh, kind of cool actually. Neat. Um, so yeah, so this is the beast itself. Um, so let's take a look at the bottom of it. So here is its big circular base pad. I also noticed that it's got these little bits on the sides here, on the corners. Um, can't really point them out while I'm holding it, but these parts here. So presumably um, you have the option of laying your Xbox you know, upright or having it on its side this direction. I do notice here that it does actually have the Xbox logo at this point here. So. Very cool. So, you I mean you can have it traditionally, like on its side, um, or you can have it the way that it's supposed to, which is now upright, which is the way that these things go. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, I thought that inside this part was actually green, but actually, no, it's just the inner parts of the circles here to give the illusion of that part there. So, it is very, very cool. So, that is everything that you get out of the box. You get the joypad, you get the power plug, you get the super HDMI cable, uh, you get the console itself, a whole bunch of instructions, loads of packaging, and of course uh, £450, well £449.99 is the standard UK price, but if you go to game, you can also get yourself additional goodies with the player joypad and a choice of game. The one that I chose was the collector's edition Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So I think that is going to be it for this video folks. I'm going to spend the next while um, plugging this in and actually seeing if I can connect it with my um, Xbox One account, transfer some games over, maybe try out one or two before the end of the night. And yes, there we go. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be any difference uh, when I stream to Twitch from streaming it from the Xbox One X or streaming it from the Xbox. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a difference in quality there or not. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if it's just going to be visually for the person using it or if it actually will pick up on Twitch. Uh, part of me doubts that it would transfer to Twitch. But it does mean that if there's any Xbox Series One X games that are exclusive, I will be able to stream those and let you guys see them as well. Uh, one of them that I am looking forward to is playing Stray, um, where you play as a cat. And of course I am the grand cat. And of course I am a little bit late to this, because I know that this has been out for a little while. And I'm sure there's a lot of you that probably already have um, one of these. And if yours is different, let me know. Um, because this one does say, it does say 2021 on it. And we are now um, getting close to the end of 2022. So, um, if anyone got any in like 2020 or even, I think the end of 2019 is when it initially came out. Let me know if it was different packaging, if your Xbox looks a little bit different, if there's any differences, or if yours came with any additional stuff as well. If you got any cool deals or any goodies, I'm very interested in hearing all of that. I think I'm probably going to buy an Elite controller as well. Uh, they're a little bit pricey. They're $149.99. Um, but you do only need to buy the one realistically. Um, of course I've got friends over, <laughs> they're not touching the Elite one, they can deal with the standard. And also uh, I have been told by my good friend the Baron, 
who has an Xbox uh, Series 1X himself, he tested the original Xbox One joypads and they do work with the Xbox Series 1X. So if you've got a, you know, a group of people, you know, if you play Xbox with like, you know, three, four, five friends, whatever, um, you can just use the, the joypads from the original uh, Xbox One onto your Xbox Series X. Um, half the reason that I bought this console is because uh, I uh, switched between houses um, based on what is going on. So um, I'm keeping one console here. I'm going to take one console um, over to the other place and hopefully they're going to be able to share the same account. Hopefully when I play games, uh, it should save the data to the cloud and then I should be able to download the saved data and just continue off where I was um, previously. So uh, one of them is an Xbox One, the other one, other one is the Xbox Series One X, so of course I'll be able to play Series X games on this, but uh, hopefully the games that I am in the middle of playing on the Xbox One will be able to transfer their data onto this console and back uh, again. So that's what I'm hoping for. So there's going to be a lot of setup of trying to get this thing to pretend to be the console that I've already got. Um, because <laughs> the last thing I need is an entirely brand new um, system. Well, <laughs> a system. Um, entirely brand new account. I mean, that's that's not what's going to happen. So, I, I mean, it's all theory for me at the moment. I'm hoping that all this works the way that it, it's supposed to. Um, so I might do an update video, let you guys know whether that all worked or not um, in the future. But that's going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.